Ventoy is an amazing tool. But before you use it, you need to decide whether you're going to go with MBR or GPT for the partitioning style. You also need to decide on a format for the disk itself. So you can use XFAT, NTFS, FAT32, so on and so forth. Now, by default, I send out all of my USBs from bootableusbs.com in XFAT and MBR. The reason I do that is for max compatibility. A lot of the stuff on the stick is to diagnose, troubleshoot, and install for legacy systems, as well as newer systems, but it just gives you that compatibility. However, I've had a few customers recently ask me, hey, how do I get this to boot on a Mac? Or maybe you have a, a UFI only type of computer that only supports GPT. Well, in this video, we're gonna go over how to go from MBR to GPT, or the other way around. It's really the same process. Okay, so right here, we're looking at the Ultimate USB version 2.1, the greatest USB ever assembled on the planet. And by default, like I said, I send these out as MBR and XFAT. So we're gonna walk through a very simple set of steps to copy down all the files from this flash drive onto a hard drive and then we'll set up a USB, or we can reformat this USB in this case, and then copy everything back. So all I'm doing here is just, I have a, a hard drive on my computer, a secondary with a lot of space. So I'm gonna create a backup folder. You call yours whatever you'd like. And then once we create that folder, we'll go ahead and we'll move all the files into there. We'll speed this up with the power of editing, and we'll be right back. All right, these files are just about done copying and that should do it. Now we have a backup of all the files. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to reformat this Ventoy enabled USB. And to do that, we're going to click on options, partition style, and we're gonna change it to GPT. Now you can see that in the payload on the right there. This is what's on the stick and this is what's on the payload. Just go ahead and click install. If you already had Ventoy, you will be prompted to say yes, because it's gonna overwrite anything on there, hence why we backed it up. Accept your prompts there. This will only take a second. It's going to reinstall Ventoy with a new partition style. All right, that is done. Click okay, and you are finished with the Ventoy GPT configuration. Next up, very simple. Go ahead and open up your Ventoy USB in File Explorer. And then also open up the location on the hard drive where you backed up the files. All you're going to do now is copy that backup or cut it either way, everything in that location, and then go ahead and move that over to the flash drive that has Ventoy installed now with GPT. We'll let this finish. But again, it's the same process if you want to go from GPT to MBR or MBR to GPT. And also, if you wanted to change the formatting at the same time, or just the formatting alone, XFAT, NTFS, FAT, whatever you're going for, this would be the same set of steps. Now, to take it a step further, if you had two flash drives, and you wanted to keep one as MBR, and just create another one with GPT, it would be the same step, but you don't need to move those files ahead of time. Just pop in your second flash drive, format that one with Ventoy as GPT, and then just copy everything from the MBR flash drive over to the GPT flash drive. Now it's important to note here that when you install Ventoy, it creates two different partitions. One is super tiny. You don't need to do anything with that one. You want the partition with all of the ISO files. That's usually what's gonna show up in File Explorer anyways. So just copy that, make a backup, or go from flash drive to flash drive, like I said. All right, we'll let this finish. All right, that has finished. So all we did was back up the files on the flash drive, reinstall Ventoy after changing the partition style in this case. Again, you could also change the format of the disk as well. So whether you're going from MBR to GPT or GPT to MBR, or the format style of XFAT to NTFS, NTFS to FAT, whatever you're doing, this would be the same exact process. Back up all your files, reflash or reinstall Ventoy on that same USB with the settings that you need, 
And then once that's done, just copy all the files that you backed up straight on back to that flash drive. All right. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Like I said, I had a couple of customers asking me how to boot this on like a Mac OS, which only uses GPT by default or newer systems that are strictly UFI and they do require that GPT partitioning style. Let me know what you guys think. Are you using Ventoy? Have you picked up one of my sticks? If you're not familiar with my USBs, definitely check that out, bootableusbs.com. I'll link the most popular one of my flash drives as well as a link in the description over to my shop. Until the next video, take care.